onwards and upwards. I will uh, crack on here, get tidied up, start packing all this stuff away.
So everybody, hello and welcome back to WAUK. In this video, I just wanted to bring the trailer out and just air it really. Uh, I brought a few new bits to it that I've had sat at home for the last few weeks. And I thought I'd just come and have a bit of a fettle and have a bit of a play in the field, sort out the back of the Land Rover because it's looking a bit messy. Uh, the other bit of news I've got to report is the series is no longer mine. Uh, a close friend showed some interest at the Overland Show, came down on a Sunday to see me and showed a little bit of interest in it. And um, conversations have been going back and forth and it turns out he really wanted it. So he came up uh, a couple of Saturdays ago, I think it was, or, or last Saturday maybe. Um, and I tried everything I could to put him off it, to be fair. Um, but stubborn old get that he is, he's an old school friend. He uh, decided he really, really wanted it and he, and he went away with it. Um, he got a good price, I got a good price. I think everybody uh, is happy with what went on. Um, he's going to be joining our band of merry men, so you will be seeing the series at least two, three times a year in my videos. Uh, it's going to be there, and I'll no doubt be caught hugging it when nobody's looking. Anyway, uh, the reason we're out today is I've got a few new bits. Uh, I've got some storm lanterns, some uh, some paraffin storm lanterns. Uh, as I discussed in my last video, the lights that are just above me, just up there somewhere. Um, too bright for nighttime use and I wanted something a little bit more ambient. So I bought some, some fur hand, I believe it's pronounced, which, which is translated as fire hand. Uh, they are a German lanterns. I, I was recommended by a friend who, who advised me to go for the better ones and not the cheap eBay ones, the, the ones that you can get for six, seven quid. He says uh, they're just going to leak. Uh, they're not going to work as well. Go for the fire hand ones and uh, they'll give you a few years, a good few years of a of, uh, happiness basically uh, and service so uh, yeah they are just up here let me just spin around camera's gonna adjust for the light but there it is just next to my head I got them both in green there's one there and there's one dangling just there on the other side beam uh, I've been playing around hopefully I've worked it into the video somewhere if the footage was any good I've been playing around with an ammo box I've got an ammo box just down here let me close the screen on my camera and I can show you properly so I've got an ammo box down here and in the bottom of the ammo box, I've lined it with a bit of this uh, this this matting. It's like a sleep mat, um, and I've, I've got a couple of strips there, more of the sleep mat that I'm going to wrap around them to put in. And this is going to be their safe house. Uh, and that drum just there is the uh, is the paraffin for them. There's nothing in them at the moment because they are relatively new. And I'm not staying here tonight. Um, I'm just just up the field from the barn. The barn is just over over there behind them bushes. I uh, don't know if you can see them bushes over there, but that's where the barn is. And these are the fields just, just opposite the barn, if you will, which I've got permission to be in and permission to shoot the rabbits in this field. Um, not that I've brought a gun today, not that any shooting is going on today. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd just come and relax and just, just put my feet up and do a few little jobs like you do. Uh, other new bit is, is my chair. It was recommended by a different friend this time. But that's the maker's chair I'm using. Uh, I believe it's discontinued now. Um, I, I searched high and low for this chair and the price has varied um, and eventually I found it and uh, it folds up really really nicely and to be fair it's a damn good chair. And the final thing I've brought today if we just go to the back of the trailer wait for the light to adjust is I bought a new Outwell little stove. Uh, the one I had was great but when I was putting it in this drawer here uh, it was taking up all the room, it was far too big, and it meant I had to carry that huge Caligas bottle. I know you can get smaller Caligas bottles, but that's the one I have, and uh, that's the one I was using until my gas ran out. But this one uses these little Coleman cartridges, which is, oh, come on light, adjust. Well, it, it's there, you'll see it, I'll try and adjust it in post-production. Um, but yeah, it's a lot smaller, it folds up, and it'll fit in this drawer a lot better. Um, yeah, and that basically is it. I mean, the other little thing we've got is this little beauty here that hopefully I will have worked in some footage. I can't fly it too well at the moment, but I've been playing playing with it up and around the field and trying to get some aerial shots of where I am and the scenery of where I am. Um, I'm not any good at flying it as of yet, but I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying very hard and I'll get there in the end. Um, I'm going to try and get it to follow the Land Rover out. I don't know how to quite do that, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a drive across the field, and I'll see if it can keep up to the Land Rover and follow me out when I'm when I'm done here, which won't be very long, to be fair. Uh, just got to get all my gubbings back in the back of the Land Rover, tidy it up a little bit, because now the Land Rover's my daily. Um, 
don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I do post pictures of all the new bits on, on Instagram and, and stuff that I'm up to on a, on a at least a two daily basis. I'm not, I'm not massively accurate, but I try to ac accurate. I'm not massively active is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I do try my best to post as much as I can, at least once, twice a day, usually. Um, you will have seen pictures on, on the old Instagram if you do follow me. Let's, let's quickly run you over here. This is going to be very bright for a few seconds. Um, my steering damper on the Land Rover went the other day, so I was fettling. Let's see, let's see if I can get you in there to see it. Oh, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that. But I fitted an old man emu. Don't know if you can see my head in here. I don't know what you can see in there. But I have fitted an old man emu one, new one under here. Um, maintenance, Land Rover maintenance as always. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's constant. Um, it's every day and I hope Richard, which is the lad who's bought me, uh, me old series, <laughs> learns to appreciate that. It's an ongoing project constantly. Once you fix something, something else breaks. But uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. I will uh, crack on here, get tidied up, start packing all this stuff away and get to my parents for lunch because my parents are making me a barbecue today. Anyway guys, thank you always for tuning in. I'll run in some footage and some drone footage just as an outro and uh, hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Take care.